Hi friends, welcome back to Angular 11 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about property binding. So let's take small example and with this example, we can understand each and every things step by step. Okay, so so this is coming from app component so this is the main component of angular application so if you go to the src inside this app and here you can see the app component.html app component.typescript file so this is the app component html file and the text this is from app component it's coming from app component.html file okay so here we will create a simple text file and i want to show something with this okay so here just write input and type equal to text okay so if you now go to the browser we can see a simple text box is appear okay so now i want to add some things here so any text so i want to type any text and i want to print this text instantly below the box okay so here we can see the output so we will write a key up function okay so when we write something basically this is calling the key up function so we will create a key up function inside this and using this key up function we will call this okay so we will create a key up event and inside the key up event we will create a function and we will call these things okay so to create any events so for a text to create any event inside the first parenthesis we going to write the key up that means we are going to use a key up event and here so this is suppose i'm going to add a name that is the name and if we just enter any text on the text box so we will create a function that is get name this function will call okay so now let's create a method for this app component typescript file so app component ts file and here we'll just create a function that is function get name okay so here we don't need to write the function keyword so if we just write function keyword here it will show error because in the typescript file we don't need to write the function keyword it will directly treat a function as it is using the function okay so now a function is created and if you go to the browser we can see the name and a value so when we will type something here it will get the output okay so first i will show the output inside the console then we will get output just below the text box okay so how we can do this so to get the current element we need to pass the dollar event dot target dot value so we'll get this value from the text box using this event dot target dot value and we will print this inside the console so right here console dot worm so to print in the console you need to write these things and we'll write the value here and we will pass the value so this value is actually coming from this section okay so this is the argument of function and we are taking this value from here okay so now if you go to the browser and just see the console section so here is my console suppose i am typing something that is learning points okay so when we are typing something it is automatically getting the output from the console so we can see the output that is learning points from here so now i want to print this from here so how we can print this so we need to create a property so suppose here i am writing a property that is the name property and initially i am showing this as a blank and i need to print the name into the html file so just create a s2 tag you can add any tag i am writing here a s2 tag and inside the s2 tag i am taking the curly braces and inside this we are printing the name name is the property of this app component and we will set the value of name into this value okay so write this dot name equal to the value so which are passing from the kia function okay so just go to the browser 
and now type some things so here i'm writing any things so type something so with the type of this it is printing okay so i'm changing the name that is the angular tutorial okay so instantly we are getting the output this is the power of angular so now we can understand how to use the key of functions now i want to create another small example by which we can add something from two different text okay so let's write here the star so i'm separating these things so this is separation and after that i will write the calculation suppose i want to create a calculation okay so this is calculation and we can see this is coming so it's printing mistake calculation okay and here i will create the two text field so for number one i am writing i am using br for new line and here write input type and text okay and also i am using the beer for new line and the same way i am writing the number two and i am creating a button okay and here write some okay so if you just go to the browser we can see there is a number one and number two and one a sum okay one button that is sum so if we click on the sum button it will calculate the value of number one and number two and print just below here okay so how we can take this so just provide a name that is name equal to suppose num one and same we will write the name equal to num two okay and here we will do a property binding so we'll create first property here so here i am creating a new property that is number one and assigning value that is zero and number two same the default value is zero and sum also default zero so we are creating three property and we need to bind this inside the app component dot html okay so just write a value here so to write a value we need to use this third parenthesis and here we will write the number one so basically this number one coming from here and we need to use the number two for the second okay so just add the value property here that is number two okay so now we need to create a click event so when we will click on this sum basically it will calculate so inside the button we need to write a click event so we know how to write this so within the first parenthesis we will write these things and we will create a function that is get sum so which value will pass basically will pass number one and number two so let's create a id that is for number one that is num one and for number two that is num two okay and we will pass this value using the get some methods okay so write number one dot value and sorry spelling mistake and number two dot value okay so we will create a get some method inside the app component ts and we will pass those two values okay so create the method here so here write get sum and we will get two argument that is number one and number two for this as a argument now we need to sum these two value so basically this two value and here we will write this dot sum so this is the current object so whenever we will access the property of any class we need to use the this and here we will use the num1 okay so basically we are getting num1 and num2 from here so use num1 plus num2 here one thing as it is using 
a integer type number so we need to say to angular that it is the integer type number or you can say the float type number so we need to parse this into float so write parse float okay so this is the methods to float to parse this float okay so same way we will write the parse float so both are float type number and we need to print the sum just below this section so to print we need to write suppose i am taking a a3 tag and inside here we are writing sum and we have a property that is the sum property and we are getting this value into this sum so just use the sum okay so all are set now if we go to the browser and suppose i am going to add some number that is 10 and suppose 20 so just click on the sum so it is getting the output that is 30 okay so in the same way just write 50 and 60 so click on sum it is showing the output that is 110 this is the adding of two values okay so now we got some idea about the property binding so we need to learn about more way to bind any property so for this reason we need to know about all the events like we are using currently click event key up event so in this way there are lots of event and they have separately uses so next video i will going to show you all types of events with small small examples so don't miss that video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so thanks for watching this video have a good day bye